Sylvain, I've been looking- Hey, Lysithia. I was about to grab some food. Actually, yes. That's- Great. Let's go. Hmm. The dining hall isn't exactly relaxing. I don't really care about the atmosphere. Nah. I get why you told me off. Uh, can you just- Here's something you may have already picked up. I've worked very hard to be where I am now, and- But I think you're a genius. Yes, you already told me all of this. Ah, so I already told you that. And there it is. You're all- I knew that. And yet I never thought you would direct your antics at me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I know how hard you work. I do not mind that you wish to chat with me. In fact, you might even say- Seriously? It sure- Well, it's true. Your behavior is maddening. But in- I wasn't thinking about it like that at the time. Therefore, an apology? That is not how these conversations usually turn out. There's no need for that, though. Listen, Lysithia, I want you to know that I meant every word. Even if sincere, you're as lovely as you are clever. And you have this strange charm about- There you go again. I swear to you, it isn't false at all. Say what you will. You're just this once. I'll cut. It's not like I can change who you are as a person. Sweet and tolerant. I'll leave you with this. Don't say things you don't mean. Don't come crying to me if you carry on as you have. <laughs> I have to say, Lysithia. <sighs> you are a... So this is Grander Field. Hey, Teach. Not a bad place to wage war, is it? I knew you'd understand. Plenty of places to hide, and our pick of paths to advance through. It's the perfect battlefield for our tactics. I have my eye on that low hill over there. See it? It's the ideal spot to lure our enemies to, and then surround them with fire. <laughs> gotcha, Teach. I know, I know. We want all students to make it back to the monastery. With you in command, we can't lose. The Imperial Princess and the Crown Prince don't stand a chance. Professor, Claude, what are you two talking about? What do you expect? It's Claude. I am certain he was foisting more of his ill-advised schemes on our poor professor. Oh, you have me all figured out, Lawrence. You know me better than I know myself. Win or lose, it's an honor just to participate in the legendary battle of the eagle and lion. We've got to win so we can show Captain Gerald what we're made of. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I shall give it my all. I'll just stay quiet and follow along so I don't get in anyone's way. That will not be acceptable, Marianne. The whole point of this exercise is for each house to act as one. Do your best. I can't wait to see how well everyone does. All right, sounds like Hilda will be taking control of a central hill and watching the battle from there. It's almost time. Come on, Teach. The battle starts now. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. Ready any time. Who, me? 
stay focused. Let's get to it. Who, me? I'm on it. I got this. Leave it to me. I stand ready. Ready and willing. and the Golden Deer are already in battle? We should take this chance to break through the Black Eagle's flank. Much needed. You're a big help. I will draw the Black Eagles out, Your Highness. Yes. And while you are doing so, we will take control of the Central Hill. Never underestimate an outsider. Stronger. Yes. Of course I 
Be gone. Still not satisfied. Held back. Sorry, but victory is mine. Progress suits me well. Yeah! 
on that. with me. Can I push myself with you as my foe? This will be a great chance to test our metal. Do not underestimate me, Professor, or you will fail. I'm sorry, but I must retreat. You should have no trouble. Whoa. fight any longer. I'm sorry, everyone. Please continue onward to victory! So obvious. When is expected. Careful, please. Ugh! 
Never underestimate an outsider. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are the Golden Deer. A victory worthy of a feast. We did so well, there's no way we didn't secure that prize. Well done, Claude. I see your schemes are not to be underestimated. Yes, I must wholeheartedly agree. As ever, I have proven to be no match for you. It is the utmost honor to receive praise from your royal... <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Really, though, I was lucky to have Teach on my side. In all honesty, you two made me work for it. If I had to face you again, there's no telling which way it would go. What do you think, Teach? How did the other houses fare? I appreciate that. Still, it is clear that I must continue to be rigorous in my training. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, now that the three-way battle has ended in an alliance victory, I dare say it's time for some post-battle reconciliation. The victor has but one request. Hear me out. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. <laughs> I accept your proposition. But please notify me once your preparations are complete. It seems I have no choice but to drown my sorrow at losing an overindulgence. I'll help you with the preparations. <laughs> it's not a feast if you don't eat too much. Leave it to the Imperial Princess to say such wonderful things. That's not exactly what I said, but forget it. Laugh all you want. Well, if you insist. <laughs> hey, Teach. Looks like you're having a good time, too. Seeing you smile like that means we've got no choice but to have a great time tonight. Let's get going. Ugh, I can't believe our house leader ate so much he passed out. I guess he should just sleep it off? Oh, Professor! Great work today. As long as we have you and Claude, the Golden Deer House is unstoppable. I am sure we did not require Claude for our victory, but it certainly would not have been possible without our Professor. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be in your class, Professor. You truly bring out the best in us. Let's keep fighting! And winning! I knew the tactics you learned from the captain would be something else. I better work harder to catch up. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. Because of you, I managed to get through the fight without feeling like a burden. Thank you, Professor. I hear Lady Rhea and Sedith are singing your praises, too! You're always so modest. You really showed them, Teach. I would really hate to be on your bad side. Oh, look. Claude has been revived. Your tactics were ingenious, and you've somehow mastered the power of the King of Liberation's relic. You really are incredible. Though you can be a bit absent-minded at times. Your mind is like a giant bowl with a tiny crack in it. Claude, saying that only makes your own mind bowl seem tiny. How dare you? My bowl is much bigger than Teach's. Unfortunately, it doesn't just have a crack. The whole bottom of my bowl is missing. In other words, you are the absent-minded one, not our professor. That's true. He just admitted it. <laughs> it's unusual to hear you laughing, Marianne. Your smile is really cute. It feels so great to laugh and joke around like this, doesn't it? Hmm? Huh? Well, look at that. Someone's having a secret rendezvous in the courtyard. All joking aside, I'm having trouble sizing you up, Teach. The honest truth is that I'd hate to have you as an enemy. If possible, I wish for you to fight by my side. If I could use the Sword of the Creator, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I bet if I could use it, you would trust me to, right? That selflessness may be what I like best about you.
I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts, and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. Thank you.